my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Let's get straight into the tea. We're gonna start this video off with our girl Asian Doll. So just yesterday, she shared a couple of sentimental tweets to her Twitter, uh, reminiscing about her and King Vaughn's relationship and basically how she used to help him out. She said, it was days Vaughn used to be so sad behind the street stuff and the thought of going to jail. He would come and just lay on my chest and kiss me, but through his kisses, I could feel his hurt. To be honest, I stayed with Vaughn because Vaughn needed me and my genuine love. I was good for that boy's hurt soul. He used to be hurting so bad. I couldn't do nothing but give him the best love he could find. I didn't know what to do but be there for him through whatever and it turned both of us soft but we needed that for each other. I even became a wife. Now basically like I said in the beginning of this video Asian Doll is reminiscing about her and King Vaughn's relationship and some of the things that she went through with King Von while in a relationship with him. Now, I did think that this tweet was very interesting because if you guys don't remember, a couple of months ago, King Von's baby mother, Kima, actually tweeted out and said that while she was with King Von, King Von never went to jail. And it's similar to what Asian Doll is tweeting out right now, basically saying that they played a big role in King Von's life and him not going to jail and getting in any trouble and it's even more interesting that Kima and Asian Doll are back on bad terms and it seems like they've been shading each other a lot on Twitter especially Kima who now has her Twitter private but I do not want to get into any of the beef or negativity that was surrounding you know some of King Von's friends family members and lovers because who child we know it was a lot but I did think it was good that once Asian Doll posted this and it was posted onto social media and a couple of blog pages a lot of people had her back a lot of people was feeling for her again some people was basically saying that they felt like everything she was saying was fake and that she was grieving too much and you can never grieve too much I just don't understand why somebody would post that I feel like this generation is definitely getting more and more insensitive to people in their feelings because we all know just a couple of months ago there was a rapper who made a video talking about some oh please don't be no Asian doll if something happens to me and then there was so many people commenting basically saying that yeah she's doing too much she's acting she's not being real she's faking and I'm just like how does people even know what this woman is feeling how can you tell her that she is faking about her feelings over losing someone who she was close to who she loved make it make sense but like i said we're gonna leave that in the past for now i also think this was good for asian doll to do and shine this positive light on king von's name because a couple of weeks ago allegedly investigators found out that king von was the reason why jerica barnes isn't here anymore and basically her documentary started to go viral once again and king von is in her documentary basically saying some of the things that he wanted to do with her so once this went viral that's when king von's name started to go viral again everybody was talking about king von once again but it wasn't really in a positive limelight so this was good for asian doll to share some positive moments about king von basically i'm saying it's positive because she's showing that he was human he was wasn't this heartless person he was just hurt about a lot of things that went on in his life and i'm not saying that this gives him an excuse to do some of the things that he allegedly did but it shows that he was human and he was just hurt he just wasn't this heartless cold person but like i said guys y'all let me know what you feel about asian doll reminiscing about her boo king vaughn anyways guys let's go ahead and move on into miss ty taylor because she shared a scary post onto her instagram yesterday now basically she posted a short clip of a video with her car on the side of the road in a whole bunch of trees and she wrote 
wrote on her caption and said, I'm literally in tears. He tried to take me out right before my birthday. I missed the tree by a centimeter. Thank you, God, for protecting me. It wasn't my time. Now, if you guys know, if you follow Ty, you would know that she is getting ready for her birthday. She's been super, super excited about her birthday party that is coming up. And she's basically saying in this post that she feels like the devil tried to take her out right before her birthday but god got her god was protecting her and she missed the tree by a centimeter and when i tell you guys god is good god is good she is basically saying it right here right now and just some advice for you guys look if you're traveling if you're driving be very careful. Nobody's sure exactly what happened and how this accident happened, but you'd rather be safe than sorry. We're just glad that Ty is okay. She had a lot of support, not only from fans, but from some celebrities and influencers was in her comments like Soulja Boy, Carmen, Corey, Samarella was all showing her love, thanking God that she is okay. Okay. All right, guys, so last but not least, obviously for the last couple of weeks, there has been a lot of negativity surrounding the baby's name, basically because a very messed up, ignorant comment that he made at Rolling Loud. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, definitely check out my last couple of videos on the baby before you watch this. But basically, there has been some celebrities and influencers who have spoken out about what the baby said. Basically, some people are on the baby's side and feel like he should be able Able to say what he wants but then there's some people on the fence and just feel like the baby should be canceled like he is and he should have to pay for what he said and i read some of those celebrities and influencers tweets and posts you know basically them responding to this whole the baby situation well it looks like nle choppa now wants to get on on this situation and he wants to give his opinion seeing as yesterday he tweeted out and said the baby gonna come out bigger than ever while y'all trying to downplay the man that's when somebody responded to him and was like see Nelly Chapa, be quiet that stuff that he said was still disrespectful and insensitive and then that's when Nelly Chapa responded and he said I ain't say it was but not everybody acting like we ain't human if y'all think bruh said what he said with the intent to hurt somebody y'all do delusional it's comedian saying way worse than what bruh said now i'm kind of confused on why a lot of celebrities want to speak out on the baby situation especially because i feel like it is his situation i mean celebrities can speak out and say what they want give their opinion about the situation okay that's fine but as far as a lot of people backing up the baby i just don't understand it only because there has been a lot more celebrities who were canceled other than than the baby for things that wasn't even as serious and nobody really spoke out to defend those celebrities but once the baby gets canceled it's like everybody has something to say maybe the baby is just that popular and he had a lot of friends and acquaintances in the music industry anyways i want to know you guys opinion on what nle choppa said about this the baby situation he said there is comedians out here saying worse things than what the baby said let me know your opinions in the comments below once again my lovely tt thank you for watching room for tea make sure make sure make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time i upload and of course i will see you my lovely lovely tts in the next video